Today, we are here, among others, to emphasize the fundamental role and key dimensions of parliamentarians' work to achieve gender equality and women's empowerment in the agricultural sector. Women cannot be left out. That is why FAO, in its efforts to promote inclusive and efficient agricultural food systems, is enhancing the capacity of rural women to engage in and benefit more from profitable value chains. This learning exchange and high-level dialogue is an opportunity for all of us to mainstream gender equality in agriculture and food security, basing on participants' experiences and expertise. In Rwanda, we have what we call gender budget statement, GBS, GBS which is a requirement uh, from all uh, budget entities and it is one of the annex we submit to Parliament when we submit our, our budget. Nous avons mis en place ce réseau pour faire en sorte que la vision qui consiste à encourager dans tous les pays de la CDAO des investissements agricoles inclusifs et équitables en termes de genre et qui puissent favoriser la sécurité alimentaire et nutritionnelle nous permettent aussi de réduire considérablement la pauvreté. We have enacted gender responsive laws and the implementation requires ownership by the implementers. In Africa, the patriarchal system still has an influence on gender relations which lead to inequalities toward women. Moi, j'ai découvert que je suis différente des hommes à l'âge de 3 ans à 4 ans. Pour la simple raison que j'ai grandi parmi des garçons. C'est la concession familiale. Mon père avait deux, je viens après deux garçons. Le grand frère de mon papa avait cinq. Donc, on m'appelait Dela. Chez nous, Dela, c'est celle qui vient après les hommes. Gender responsive governance requires an honest political will. Because you hear here and there good words from the leadership, but when you go to the ground, generally, you don't have the frequency matching between words and action. <laughs>